Every once in a while, I shouldn't say every once in a while, let's be honest. Every fucking day, I yeah. hear stories, you hear stories about absolutely horrible parents that had these stories occurred in the 80s or the 90s. Um, it would be like stories of the year. You'd look back, remember that horrible story about those parents that did this or that? Now they're out there all of the time. And, well, this, and if you said that to me, Tony, I'd be like, well, which one? Which story yeah. are you talking about? Well, exactly. I'd have no idea where to even begin looking. This is one of those stories. So uh, spoiler alert or um, uh, what's the other alert I should say uh, to be uh, politically correct for everyone? Uh, trigger alert. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on this one, uh, if, if you are the victim of uh, abuse or you know someone who has been, this may be a little difficult uh, a cloud of mystery and suspicion surrounds the case of oakley carlson she's a six-year-old girl from oakville washington who has not been seen since early 2021 more details about her family's life have come to light and serious concerns about the child's safety have intensified oakley carlson's last credible sighting occurred on february 10th of 21 however her parents andrew carlson and jordan bowers reported to the Grace County Sheriff's Office that their last encounter with Oakley was much later, November 30th of 2021. By December of that year, she was reported missing. Officials handling the case have labeled her disappearance and the associated details as suspicious. Diving deeper, the Grace County Sheriff's Office is teamed with the nature, uh, or, or termed the nature of Oakley's disappearance as criminal. In an ongoing investigation, both Bowers and Carlson have emerged as the primary persons of interest. Their history presents several troubling allegations. Yeah, when you lose your kid um, hmm. and, and you don't seem to really give much of a shit, that's a little bit suspicious. Uh, among the chief concerns is the alarming claim that Bowers and Carlson allegedly deprived Oakley siblings of essential medicine for an extended period, period 15 months. According Jesus. to the sheriff's office, this medicine was imperative for the child's physical well-being and the lack thereof put her at significant risk, risk even possibly leading to a fatal outcome. The recent publication of an opinion by the Washington State Court of Appeals on August 1st has further spotlighted the couple's questionable history with their children. The release followed after the Grays Harbor County Sheriff's Office sought the court's permission to access juvenile records connected to the Barrows and Carlson's offspring. The court document revealed that since April of 2013, the Department of Children, Youth and Family Services has undertaken 11 in-depth investigations into the family. This included eight distinct cases that involved allegations ranging from domestic violence to drug use, abuse and significant medical neglect. At what point do you just say this is not a good home for the kids? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no shit. 11 in-depth investigations. It might mean there's something wrong there. One. I mean, maybe at the third one, the <sighs> second one. Are we going to keep going back going, eh, yeah, you got this. You you got your slap on the wrist. One particular concern involved Oakley's sibling, referred to as DC in the court documents, who suffers from a rare genetic syndrome resulting in a developmental disability. This condition necessitates daily injections for the child. Past accusations pointed toward Bauer's untreated mental health issues and a ne a neglect to seek services for the child back in June of 2017. Despite initial probes by the DCYF, there was no extended investigation as the intake was screened out. Matters became more alarming a month later when another report surfaced alleging the lack of medicine for DC, coupled with allegations of domestic violence and meth use within the oh. home. Following these revelations, Oakley and DC were separated and put under different care while another sibling was placed under the custody of his biological father. In a concerning development from January of 21, officials received inputs about visible scratches and bruises on Oakley's face when questioned mm -hmm. Bowers and Carlson demonstrated a, bl a blatant lack of cooperation. Furthermore, prior to Oakley's disappearance, Bowers reportedly informed Oakley's school about a fire at their residence, which she alleged that Oakley started upon school uh, authorities visiting Oakley's residence the child was conspicuously absent. The parents' narrative has been inconsistent. They have suggested that they simply 
<laughs> it was just so fucking oh ludicrous. God. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And if you're oh if, if you are a parent that ever gives this as the reason you don't know where your child is, you should be shot. Yep. They have suggested that they simply lost track of Oakley. I lost track of my keys yesterday. How do you? But just, I, didn't lose, I didn't lose track of any living creature that I'm in charge of taking care of. You lost track of your child, and this is your this tell. is your valid excuse to the police. I lost track of him. That's where, if I were an officer, and why I could never be an officer, I might just pull out my revolver. Yep. With Carlson eventually reporting her missing in December. Oh, I'm glad they they waited up until Christmas to report the child missing. This is the fucking problem with the system. This is why Lori Vallow Daybell and Chad were able to get away with their shit for as long as they did, because yeah. there isn't any follow up. Or if there is, it's half assed. The officers have their hands tied. Ch Child and Protective Services have their hands tied with bureaucratic bullshit. And there isn't enough people to do these fucking jobs. Yep. And it's too late when they finally hear something like, well, we lost track of the child. <laughs> it's too fucking late. Lost track. Contradicting oh their account, Oakley's grandfather claimed he hadn't seen their child since Christmas of 2020. Following well, then why these, didn't you say something? I can't imagine being the grandparent in this situation and like your grandkids are like, well, you know, they got it under control. Following these murky claims, both Carlson and Bowers were apprehended for obstruction. Oh, they finally arrested them for obstruction. Not the dumbass answer of I lost track of my child and they're missing now. Wouldn't that have been child neglect? <sighs> Disturbing Jesus. insights from D.C. highlighted the severity of the situation. D.C. disclosed to authorities that Oakley had ignited the house fire using her mother's torch and was subsequently subjected to physical abuse and as punishment. D.C.'s testimony further indicated potential locations for Oakley, suggesting she might have been under the mother's bed or in the woods. Furthermore, she voiced fears for Oakley and another sibling, J.C., strongly implying they were not safe in their mother's care. Another sibling referred to as BBP in legal documents backed up these claims, suggesting a history of abuse by Bowers towards Oakley and JC, a partially, particularly chilling revelation indicating that Oakley was occasionally confined and locked in a cell beneath the staircase. What is this fucking Harry Potter? In an unrelated development, uh, KCPQ TV, number one on your side with Doppler 7000. <laughs> So it is. Confirmed that Bowers was sentenced on August 7th in a separate identity theft case. Oh. Which has no well, links Wait, to, they could advance that? They, they can advance that. that. case dealt with? They can deal with the identity theft, but the fact oh that you lost track of your child is a bridge too far. The investigation oh continues onward and upward, everyone. Yeah. No words. None. No words. Other than None. I still stand by. If you ever give the excuse that you lost track of your child yep. and think it's valid, you should be shot. You're locked into the Hidden Killers podcast. Want more? Start binging on all of our true crime podcasts right now through Apple Podcasts and get an ad-free experience when you sign up to be a True Crime Today Premium Plus member exclusively on Apple Podcasts. More of the Hidden Killers podcast dropping soon. Press subscribe now.